Now then guys, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me again. So this is the big and this is the one that we've all been waiting for, the Europa League final against Chelsea. Now what a journey it's been to get here. You know, we've had a couple of extra time wins, we've had aggregate wins, it's been an absolute journey. We didn't do too well in the Champions League, but boy, since we dropped into those Europa League places, we've really gone for it. Now, we ended up against Chelsea, a team that I expected us to end up against, if I'm completely honest. You know, I said early doors that they were a team that we needed to avoid. And yes, today is all about this Europa League final. Well, we've got an opportunity to get a quadruple, can you believe it? But we are definitely the underdogs in this one. So yeah, it's definitely going to take a bit of luck for us to get there. So secondly then, I've got a bit of a channel update for you. So you may have noticed that recently my video uploads releases haven't been as frequent as they should have been. Now there's been things going on behind the scenes with the channel and the channel is going to be moving. So the channel is going to be called Now Then Corey and that is with my friend Tyler. We, we tried to mix it up a little bit. We play a variety of games. Football Manager for me is still going to be the number one on there. That's the game that I enjoy the most. But with everything that's gone on in the world, you know, we've branched out, I've met other people and, and we're really just wanting to give this a go. So feel free to, to obviously join the channel, subscribe to the channel, come and watch Football Manager on that channel. We're going to finish off this series with Heart, but a little sneaky one is I'm thinking about obviously taking Heart in FM22 and potentially dropping Heart into the English leagues and seeing how we got on with that one. Just a thought, so yeah, if you, if you like the sound of that, come and join us over on that channel. The link to that channel is down below in the description. So yeah, I would much appreciate if you could get some of my followers to come across and check out mine and Tyler's videos there. But yeah, enough of that anyway. Let's get on to the bit that you're here for. You don't care about channel news. You don't care about any of that. We want to get in to watching Hearts, hopefully, end the episode, European Champions. Regardless if it's in the Europa League or the Champions League, who cares? We're going to be European Champions. So let's have a look at how we got to the final. So naturally, we know we dropped out of the Champions League, went crashing out there. We then go through against Ajax. Now, it was 3 for in aggregate, and we went through on away goals. Absolute scene as we make it through there. Valencia, we ended up winning, and you know, we just about scraped it there as well, getting beat 4-2 away, but still a very good result for us. We then take on Wolves, another aggregate victory there, as we end up 4-4 in aggregate. We end up against Liverpool in a couple of episodes ago, what a game that was. As we go to Anfield, we win 3-0, and we've got this game against Chelsea. Chelsea exactly the same, finished third place in the Champions League and yeah, you can see there, plenty of greens. They've cruised their way through and I said that, like I say, early doors, Chelsea were going to be the team to beat. 8-0 against Dynamo Kiev on aggregate, ended up knocking Rangers out, you know, conclusively. Real saucy dad the same, you know, it's a 6-3 victory in there. And Lazio, a very difficult team. Yes, Lazio got goals against them and, and that gives me a little bit of hope, but they beat Lazio home and away. And now we're at, we're at somewhere dodgy, aren't we? We're at Razdan. Was that in Armenia? We're in Armenia. 53,000 capacity though, you know, it should be a sellout. So let's get to the team selection. So we've had an injury between episodes. Lin Shui is out for four to five weeks. That's it. So King, who would give the injection, and at the end of the last episode, I said it wouldn't really matter. We'll just have him as a bit of cover on the bench. We'll be starting today. So team selection-wise, looks like this. Van der Voort in goal. King, Barrero, Garona, and Wanquato. We could go a back and Sarik across the middle. Lamine behind Diatore in court. Now, there's some big calls in there. A back in the centre of midfield. Lamine in there, you know, as the attacker midfielder. Could have potentially been Murillo. You know, we are set like that. Diatore is obviously the biggest call because I'm not quite sure who the partner caught. That's where we're going to have to spend the money. And I've dropped Usami. Now, we've gone for Kagul because he is more creative, in my opinion. Now, the other thing is, mentality-wise, we are set as attacking. Would I be better potentially dropping Lamine into there? You know, we've done it before. We've done it against the bigger teams. We only lost 1-0 to Liverpool when we played at home and I was trying to damage Limite. But then we went to their place and we opened up. We absolutely battered them. So there's an opportunity today. If we just, like, you know, fight fire with fire, Chelsea are a better team than us. We've just got to accept that. But can we cause an upset? Right, so here we go. Then what's been said in the social roundup? So Ian O'Kane says Barrero is starting good. And Alan Clockety says King is starting. That's a terrible call. But what do you do? 
What do you do, King? There's no one else who can really play out there. I could push it with Fanady. You know, we can't even name a full bench. As we look at their team, Reese James is a captain. Edison Alvarez, Tommy Asu in there as well. De Jong, Mariba, Torres, Foden. On the bench, they've got Pulisic, Sterling. Cal Cavanti has caused us issues in the past as well. You know, we've got nothing to lose here. That's what I'm telling the guys. We're the underdogs. And anything that we get out of this is an upset. Their team-wise, you know, they're lining up with Cunner up top. Now, that's the danger, man. He is the danger, man. If we can hang into the game for, what, half an hour, get our foot in the door, then I think we're on two winners. We make our way out onto the pitch. Let's go, Disco. As we just need to really get through the first five, ten minutes without any highlights, as I think we're going to do that, you know. Chelsea have had a shot on target. We're yet to see it. But they're lining up 4 2 3 1. And I think we'll match them, if I'm honest. As Juan Quattro on a seven, Rhys James on a seven as well. Highlight then, Foden with the ball in, is cleared away. Come on, we need to come out and get that. As Court does, he gets there. Will we count? Are we turn over possession? That is poor from Court. You know, we don't want to see them in possession. As Angerin, it's straight in the top corner. 21 minutes in. We're a goal down. This is 20th goal of the season as well. And we're behind in 20 minutes. That's the worst start for us. You know, Court fannying about with it there. Tommy Asu to De Jong, and then it's a great pass. And before, like, we even know what's happened, he's put it in the back of the net. Now, Van der Voort hasn't even got time to set himself. As we have a highlight then on 25, Barrero. Can we strike back into it early? Ball over the top to Sarik. Oh, he can! Sarik, get in! 25 minutes! 14th goal of the season. What a ball that is! Sarik scores. Oh, we're back on level terms. Look at it. What character, Barrero. Is it King with the ball? It is. Ball across to Sarik. And it's a similar goal. Keepers on his ass. There's a highlight straight from kickoff, though. Oh, man. Don't be playing this end to end stuff here. There's Andrew in on it. We need to reset Sharpish. We're too excited. Mariba. Stop him. Has a crack and it's over the bar. Right. Shouts wise. Everybody calm down. They don't like that shout, but everybody just needs to calm down a little bit. As there is another highlight on 32 minutes. We're back in the game. I can't believe it. After going a goal down, I thought that may have been hit. That's a great ball out wide. A great tackle though from Juan Cuato. Ball through. Barrero gets there. Right, work it out from the back. Caught. It's down. We turn over again. The back in possession. De Jong. The ball through to Foden. Big save from Van der Voort. I'll celebrate that like it's a goal. Huge save. Foden with the corner. You know, we're marking up. Got to be ours. And it's not Tommy Asu's there. Oh, there's another highlight on 34. This is carnage. I'm sweating here. Garone to Barrero. To King. Out to Krugul. Now, Krugul, I said, could be the difference. Hopefully, it's a positive difference. As King, they dive in. We turn over possession there. And they're back on it. You know, we need to reset now as Cunner. What a finish. It's basically a no look. He's offside. He's offside. They're looking at it. Now, we have seen these given. You remember the absolute carnage when one was given us against us last time. We'll see what happens. The goal is disallowed. What a let off on 34 minutes. We'll see the decision again. It was a great finish and all. Oh, he is. He's off there. Absolute daylight. Andrew and Foden are creating De Jong's there with some key passes as well. We need to get into half time. We've only managed two shots on target. And what it was a great finish. Both teams, in fairness, have been decent on the finishing. I'm delighted with the performance. Tactically, you know, if this was a normal game, I'd be happy. A back is having a shocker. Jap's going to come in. Now that's a big call in itself. When I've got Navarro who could potentially play there as well. Is that caught on a six point three? It is. But Court is a match winner. As Diatore then comes deep to get it. Out to Lamine. Sarik. Loses out. We turn over again. They're just so much better than us. They really are. Chelsea's Angerin's running through. is like we're not there. It's like hot knife through butter. We get it clear. Where are we? As we're out of possession again. This is literally just going to... Mariba, what a save from Van der Voort. I was going to say, this is literally just going to be 90 minutes of me complaining. That's a massive save from Van der Voort there. Foden with the ball in. Get it clear. We do. Lamine. Oh, actually, we're on the counter here. Kragul. As the highlights continue. And Kragul. Penalty referee. Re could be a penalty. There could be a penalty as we break away. It was close. We're going to see it on VAR. 
as they're looking at it. Come on. It's a penalty. We've got a penalty. 47 minutes. It's going to be caught, hasn't it? Caught's having an absolute shocker on a 6.3. Caught. Oh, he's in. We're 2-1 up on 47 minutes. His 38th goal of the season. Daryl caught. Kragul runs a length of the pitch to get us the penalty. VAR have helped us out. They've also disallowed one. Van der Voort has kept us in it several times as well. One quite a what a team performance. Diatore, it's off the top of the bar on 51 minutes. Oh dear, right. They've changed formation. They have proper change formation as well. There's Juan Quato with the throw. Diatore down to Lamine. Right, we're back in possession. Sarik. As we lose out again, Sarik is there. Jap, I don't like this. They're too close to us. Diatore to Lamine. Sarik then. Ball across to Kragul. He could win it for us. See it, Kragul. It's a big save from the keeper. We'll keep creating. We play like this. We've an hour gone. I've got. They've changed it back. They've gone back to one up the top. Three behind him. And they've changed again. They're trying everything to catch us out. You know, they have definitely been the better team. 100%. We've just got to stop this. As we dive in, Foden's there. It's a shot from distance. We'll take that all day long. We will. Right, tactically then, I think now's the time. Lamine is going to drop into there. And we are going to go Navarro into that position. Right. We've got 20 minutes to go holding it up. We're going to play positive now with 15 minutes left to go. Juan Cuato with the throw. Come on. Ball in. He's cleared away by Alvarez. Juan Cuato in possession again. Ball across. Got to be. Get in. Get in. Get in. Yes. It's 3-1. It's 3-1. Scenes. Absolute scenes. Whoo. Juan Cuato, ball in. Bearing in mind, this is a similar one to Liverpool, this. We were a goal down as well. And we should have wrapped it up. They don't know what to do. As we're going into the last five minutes. Tactical masterclass here again. Oh, my days. Diatore, we could score more here. Garone. Jap. Ball through to Diatore. Can he wrap it up? It's all the way through and it's in. Never made a mess of it. Daryl Court. 4-1. That's it, guys. We've done it. 4-1. <sighs> we have done it. Garone to Jap. Diatore. You know, it does a mess. They literally booted at him. What? Caught with the winner. Oh, guys, we've done it. 4-1 in the final. We've been lucky. We've had eight shots on target. Oh, we've done it. It's a quadruple. We could have had an invincible as well, but we're, it's a quadruple. Oh, my days. Absolute scenes as we win. Chelsea don't know what to do. And we're a European champion. We're Europa League champions anyway. Regardless, you know, we've got that European silver. That's got to be the first time for Hart, surely. We have done it. Confetti's down. Everybody's clapping. Not even the Chelsea supporters have hung round. Here we go. We're going to get a, a cartwheel. Van der Voort, uh, he's got to be player of the match. Goalkeeper yet again all the way through. Van der Voort with an 8.3. Best player for us anyway. Congratulations, lads. What an upset that is. And Van der Voort impresses. 4-1. 4-1. Regan Valentine says, just got back from the match, did not see that coming. Simon Garrity says, being able to watch players like Van der Voort is why I love this job. Ewan Lowe says, I love Van der Voort. Callum McCauley, bit too much hype around Van der Voort. He was good, but not excellent. You're absolutely mental. Van der Voort, the best player on the pitch. Someone from Hart says, what a season, what a team, what a time to be alive. Fourth trophy for the mighty Hearts. Victorious Hearts celebrate famous quadruple. Can you believe it? Leon King is out for three to four weeks. You know, that was a sacrifice I was willing to make. Hearts lift the Europa League title. We get 7.6 million for the win. Plenty of medals being handed out. Bocelli prayers by Heart supporters as we win our first Europa League. There you go. First bit of European silverware. Hearts board happy with Europa League win. Of course you are. And Van der Voort, you were incredible. You know, put your arm around him. Well done.
So there you go then, guys. We have done it. Europa League champions. A famous quadruple. We held on. We roared our luck. But, yeah, we were just the better team. We were just the better team in the end. And we end up doing it. So what's going to happen now is, like I say, things are going to start to move across to the other channel. Because episodes will continue to roll out on this channel, on the Bocelli channel. But as I get more and more videos moved over to the other channel, then... The, the rest of the heart save will end up moving on to there as well. So yes, come and join us on the other channel. Now then, Corey, link down in the description below. Make sure to follow and subscribe and leave a like on this video because this is absolute scenes. It's what we're here for. Can you imagine if you're doing it in the Champions League? That's the next mission. So thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, it's been emotional and I will catch you in the next one. ta -ra. Get in! Get in! It's 3-1 scenes, absolute scenes.